The oceans play a big role in controlling global climate by distributing heat around the planet. An important region for this is the North Atlantic Ocean. Ocean currents from the tropics bring warm salty water northwards into the Arctic. Here the warm water cools down and sinks in the deep ocean. As global temperatures increase, Arctic ice melts, increasing the fresh water input to the ocean. This lowers the overall density of the Arctic surface ocean waters, which may slow down or even stop deep water formation. This would have an impact on the ocean circulation patterns, heat distribution and ultimately our global climate. Well, if you look at the northern hemisphere and the polar and subpolar latitudes, about 90% of the people living there, they live in Europe and in Russia. If there's a change in climate, the condition may change and the follow-up would be a migration of people to more positive areas where they can have better living conditions. Well, what we want to do is uh, basically twofold. On the one hand, we want to understand the system in the North Atlantic sector. On the other hand, we want to predict the system with as good as possible climate models. And then with the predictions, we can also compute some impacts, for instance, on urban regions, but also on biological systems like fish, etc. Within NACLIM and earlier projects, scientists from nine different countries have monitored the North Atlantic over the past 20 years by placing self-recording instruments in the ocean. By analysing these long-term data, they can conclude that it works a bit differently than we thought. In the subtropics, the circulation appears to have weakened and a lesser amount of warm water has flown to the north. However, all ocean water is warming up due to climate change, cancelling out the cooling effect. As a result, the circulation in the North Atlantic remains stable and we should not expect another ice age. On the contrary, global warming will heat up our climate significantly. We need to prepare for this, especially in cities, where temperatures will rise the most. Climate services has to become uh, a, a daily tool for decision makers at any level. However, for this to grow, also science has to grow, because uh, there are a lot of knowledge gaps that still need to be filled in order to make those services better in the future.